Mesco Toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 112 scale. Oh, and Jesus, right? We've heard a lot about these turtles, which by the way, I'm Queen G22, Ninja Turtles gaming geek stuff and travel. So if you like any of that, hello. Yes, my Ninja Turtles are in here and I'm very excited. Like I am very excited. The reviews on this have been awesome. I have not seen anything, any, anyone say that they were unsatisfied with these. Maybe a, a few people are complaining about the price, but compared to what I saw with all this that you get, the price uh, reflects the value. But that's me. I don't know because I didn't watch these videos in detail because I wanted to see for myself. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to crack open this box. Now, what are you going to get from me? <laughs> not a whole lot. I'm going to open this up and uh, take these out and and tell you if uh, yay or nay. I'm not gonna go into detail about the material and the head sculpts and all that kind of stuff, but my goal is actually not to get overwhelmed because the few videos and the parts that I did see because there was so much in these boxes, um, people actually got overwhelmed. So let's just get right to it. Let's open up this Mezco box, hit these Konas on the side, boom, and get this tape. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Super excited. Alrighty, so I have the box open, and the first thing that we do when we pull it out is we see this amazing bubble wrap, which is very cool, and uh, you know it's about to go down. So let's crack open this bubble wrap. Lightly taped, which we all know. I hate tape, but that wasn't too difficult. I didn't have to uh, bust out my pretty tool. The excitement. <sighs> Look at this box, right? Okay, so we're still in the plastic. Uh, we really want to get into this thing, so let me get this tape off. Still very excited, right? The anticipation. Oh my goodness. How long do we wait for this? Plastic off? A year, maybe? I don't know. Okay, my goodness. Tell me how beautiful does this box look. What I love is right away the old school Mirage comics in the background. So <sighs> I might get a little teary eyed because uh, I know they're trying to take us back into time. And this is totally giving a uh, 1984 and later vibe. So just checking out the box art. We've got our turtles up front. They look amazing. I love the looks on all of them so far. I think it completely embodies their personality. Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the top corner. What do we have over here? 112. The Mezco Toys in the other corner. Flip this over to the back. Oh gosh. Okay. So now we have an idea of everything that is inside of this box and it's a lot. It really is. So we've got our four turtles. We've got their bodies. It looks like we have a change of clothing. Let's see what they say for the clothing. We've got Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello. I don't know why they said Donatello's name last. It should have said it first, but sometimes you got to save best for last, which is cool. What else do we have? We've got hoodie with functioning zipper and hoodie cloak with integrated posing wire. So we've got our hoodie and we've got our cloak. Now here's one thing that you should know about me before all of you uh, start saying stuff in the comments. Um, I have never purchased anything from Mezco before. This is my first time buying something from Mezco because as you know, um, if it's not Donatello related, I'm really not interested and the only reason why I had to get the box set is because they were only offering the box set. So I'm hearing that Mezco Toys does a really good job with integrating the clothing and making the fabric and all that kind of stuff feel like real clothing. So this is really interesting. I'm really excited to take a look at this. So we've got our cloaks up here. We've got our uh, trench coat. We've got a scarf. What else do we have? We've got an integrated posing wire within that. And then what else we have over here? Another hooded cloak. What's that? We've got goggles and wrist comp. Like, and you know that's Donatello which is also very cool. And then down here, we've got all these different head sculpts, which is nice so you can change the expression on your Ninja Turtles. And just taking a, a quick glance at these faces, all of these faces are a good representation of each of these turtles. So, so far, I am a fan of Mezco. I think they've hit this thing spot on so far, and I haven't even opened the box yet. We've also got uh, different bandanas for how we they're flowing in the wind, if they're even flowing, which is nice. We have different pizza slices, I mean, like, seriously, I mean, this is a lot. And you know me, I'm putting my set straight in the glass case, so um, I'm gonna pick a pose, and that's gonna be it for several years. But for all you toy photographers and toy posers, I'm really excited to see all the different photos that you guys put together because 
this seems like this set is extremely versatile. We have a plethora amount of change of hands. A plethora amount. Now, does it make it easy to tell who's is who? It does say um, interchangeable hands for Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. I'm assuming you can guess which hands they are based upon the color of the skin of the turtle, which is also super cool. How often do we get our Ninja Turtles with that different skin tone? Raphael's like a bright ass green. Green. Michelangelo's a, a semi-green, same with Leonardo, a basic boring ass green, and Donatello, his dark sexy ass green. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then we've got our four uh, display things to put our turtles on so they'll display nicely. I love that Mezco good touch. Okay, so down here we've got weapons. So we've got different size, uh, different katanas. Looks like only one bow. Okay, I, I understand it, but still. We've even got communicators, one for each turtle, two nunchucks, we've got regular nunchucks, and then we've got spinning nunchucks, Jesus. And then we've got all this extra little stuff for them to have ninja stars, dagger things, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot in this box, I'm already overwhelmed, but I'm so excited and I'm glad that I did not play around with getting my pre-order in. So we've looked at the front, we looked at the back, uh, we've got our Eastman and Laird's old school logo up there on the side and same thing on the other side with of course, Nickelodeon's logo up top. So let's get to the turtles. I got one piece of tape up top, so I think I can just slide it on out. I got tape on the other side. Should I keep this box? I don't know. Should I keep this box? <laughs> I never got Mezco toys before. I, I have to keep the box actually, right? Because there's so much stuff. Okay, so I got the tape off. Now what's the problem? I can't pull it out. Oh, well I can just pull the whole thing out. Okay, everyone. The time we've been waiting for, let's pull the turtles out of here. Oh, it's in like shelf. Okay, oh wait, I think it's upside down. I don't want my guys to be upside down. No, they're definitely upside down now. Okay, let's flip this back over. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out as one whole tray. See that? One whole tray. Got my box, moving that out of the way. Now I'm very nervous. I've got some a paper here that says 112 pose, play, and display. I'm not gonna play with them, but I am gonna pose and I am gonna display them. So I guess I'll keep that. And now, oh, God, Mesco is so good at what they did. Okay, the way they packaged this, even though it's flipped upside down, I can just flip it over. So I have flipped one side over and it looks like I might. I got two turtles and some hands. So let's peek these out one by one. Move these out of the way. Okay, so it looks like the top just pops right off. I like that. It's easy. I've got some little plastic pieces uh, to protect my turtles. Please tell me I picked up Donatello. And I did, right? After I uh, removed the plastic. Very well packaged. This, uh, they really did a really good job with this. So. You know I want to start with Donatello, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do Raphael first, and then I'll do Donatello. I'd rather do him last. That all of that was. That's what she said. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start with Donatello because I want to. Look at this turtle. Okay. You know what we gotta do. We're gonna look at this face. Look at this face. The first face that they bring us. Let's see if they'll get in that face. Now, that is the old school Donatello Mirage type of look. I am digging this feel. See if I can stay on that face. Uh, that is a fierce Donatello. This is not some weak, skinny looking Donatello. This Donatello is about action. I love this head sculpt on this Donatello. So far, we are off to a good start. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm dealing with mixed emotions right now because just immediately, like immediately, I love the way he feels in my hands. I heard where it was going and I kept going because it, it, it's right to say. That is what she said, yes, we all know that, but he's just so soft and flexible. You know, when you take your toys out, your turtles out, and then they're just so stiff right away. Yeah, that that's what she said, but I'm serious. Like he just, oh, he feels like he's already, he's already been broken in. <laughs> Okay, so let's just start with the basics, dude. Articulation is awesome, dude. I mean, he is jointed up everywhere. Ankles, knees, legs. I mean, we've got the, the wide open and then he can like kick his leg back and forth. This guy is, um, he's talented, he's skilled, he's adorable, he's beautiful. Now let's look, Ooh, his head just literally popped right off, but it's not like it's loose, it just, 
is not gonna give you a hard time. Like, trying to swap heads on other figures, dude, I mean, it takes a minute, bro, trying to get, I'm not that strong, okay? So, this is easy, that comes right off. And that was accident, and it's not loose, it's not like it's coming off. I love his color. I love the color of his skin. In. This is the Donatello that I've known to be. I love that this is an actual belt made out of like material and this stitching on this is impeccable. And I know you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to show you with a close up, but his little belt up front looks like it can actually come out. Um, I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't know if I'll be able to put it back in there. But I mean, the craftsmanship on this is, is so dope. Even the little belt up top on his strap, this was very well put together the stitching on this now it doesn't look like you want to keep messing with it right if you keep messing with it you're gonna fuck it up it's gonna uh, come undone but as far as like the initial presentation this is beautiful this guy is freaking beautiful like well done mezco even to his freaking the front of his shell bro the, sh the front of his shell I mean you can see the scratch marks you can see how the artist was trying to show that you know this guy has been through some battles, but he's here with us doing his thing. Even his skin tone looks, God, they've got a mix of colors on the green to help bring it to life. He looks great. Like this is this is a good looking figure. So we're not gonna go to, uh, well, maybe we should. I guess I should deal with Donatello. I, I guess I should deal with each turtle one by one. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is Donatello that you start with. Now we've got two other head swaps, head sculpts. Now here's a second face. Now look at that face. What do we think about that face, right? This is the type of Donatello face where Leonardo was like, how do we get out of this one, Donatello? And Donatello's just like sick of it, bro. He's like, God damn it, you're the leader, but yet I'm the one that's always telling you what to do. This is this face right here. This is, he wants to go back. Look at that face. Look at those eyes. Look at the detail on that. Like, this is really, really, really good. I love it. I love this head sculpt. So that's the first one. Now, it also comes with another head sculpt. Now this is, ooh, now this one's kind of sexy, right? So ladies, hold on. Look at this one. Now this one is the cocky, arrogant Donatello that I know him to be. He's got that smirk like, uh, you know, what's up, April? Or if, if we ever met in real life, you know? I'm sure he'd be digging the queen for sure. Like, dude, holler at me. You know, I'm trying to, I'm, I, I'm, I'd, I'd listen, dude. You wanna take me out? Let's grab pizza. I'm, I'm for sure. In this face, he's like, yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Like, uh, let me show you. Uh, he won't lock back in. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, I don't know. This is the type of head sculpt that I see him to be. Okay, so we've got this wonderful Donatello and we have two additional head sculpts, which is awesome. They are not playing around. Okay, so let's go to the bandana, right? So Donatello comes with this short bandana. You can see that, short bandana, right? But it comes with a swap. Let's see how easy. And that just pulls right out, dude. That's so freaking easy. Now let's see if it goes in super easy. Yeah, that, that is what she said. I'm on fire today and I'm not trying to be. This is very serious, very serious. I actually kind of like the longer uh, bandana look on him. I was not gonna zoom in. I'll have to do the B-roll, but definitely the longer bandana. I don't know, it's kind of giving more of that mirage look for me. So uh, just for funsies and putting him back in, I love how we have a short bandana and then we have a longer bandana. So this is very cool. To the right, now we also have uh, these telecom things. I'm probably gonna break one of these, but we've got this little telecom, and uh, this is really neat because this totally embodies Donatello, right? Uh, I'll have to figure out how to make him hold it. So Donatello comes with two telecoms, and we go down further. Now we have our hand swap. So we've got our open hand swap. We've got our closed hand swap, and then we've kind of got like a, a grip hand swap. So this is really cool that we have different uh, hand swaps. And why? Because you paid damn near $400 plus tax and plus shipping. Mesco hooked us up, right? They really did. Not, me, not so much. Like I said, I'm gonna pick one and, and keep it moving. But for those of you that like to pose, I think this is great. Now Donatello comes with a longer piece of pizza, which I think is, uh, I mean, my man's gotta eat, right? He uses up all that brain power. So he, he's gotta eat. My dude is hungry. Yeah, he is. So we have that. Now, what are these thingies? 
We got this like this little spike ball thing and uh, this other little long thing. And I'm assuming this is all part of the painting the scene. Um, I'll have to look at the box and figure this out and how I'm to display these. And I'm sure someone's already in the comments like telling me this is what you're supposed to do. But I'll figure it out and I'll get there. So it comes with these little pieces and um, that's awesome. So that is pretty much what is on the right side of Donatello. And to the left, we have Raphael. Now let's pick up Raphael. Now, <laughs> okay, see his head pops off hella easy too. That's, e that's cool though. When I pick up these two turtles, Donatello and Raphael, you can see that these bodies are a little bit different. Um, I've always said I'm not a fan of little shoulders. <sighs> Donatello has little shoulders. I don't know why he can't be smart and yoked up at the same time. But anyway, so Donatello's got these little shoulders and Raphael, uh, he's got a wider shoulders. He definitely has a more burlier look to him than Donatello. So I'm not sure if the midsections are the same sculpts, but definitely the arms are much different. Uh, Donatello definitely has softer shoulders, which I don't know if he ever comes and kicks it with me, dude, we'll get in the gym. We'll get his shoulders right. Uh, we don't, we don't have to keep doing this, but whatever, that's fine. So Raphael, he's a little bit thicker. I don't know why Donatello can't be thick, dude. I like him thick, but it's cool. Anyways, um, I'm getting off track. So yes, look at Raphael's body. Like he is thicker, but look at his face. Look at that face. Doesn't that face just embody Raphael? That is Raphael. Like, like Raphael always has an attitude problem. You know, always thinking about, uh, I wish somebody would say something. You're not gonna say it to my face. We can go outside. What do you want to do? Like, this totally says he is about that life. So I'd love that. I love this look. I love that they are totally stressing Raphael's personality. And if we take a look at his belt area, uh, dude, I love the details on the material that they use. It's so soft, like it feels like real leather. I don't know if it is, somebody will know, I don't. I don't really care that much to know, but I just love how, you know, this isn't just like plastic, like this is actual material and these little pouches look like they actually open. Um, so this is really neat. And on the back, it uh, looks like we have a spot for one of his size, another pouch, even like a flip thing on the back, like a fanny pack type deal. Yeah, and he can hold another side on the side of his hip. So this is really, this is really, really good. Like they did a really, really good job. Now looking at more of the details. Uh, so Raphael compared to Donatello, like I was saying, yes, he's got a different color green. So the, the color scale, the color matching on these things, I think is spot on. I think they did a great job. Raphael's chest area compared to Donatello's, I'd have to move the belt, but it does almost, no, Raphael definitely has a different looking chest uh, up front. Uh, the pectoral area is a little bit more defined than Donatello's. Why? But it is. So that's cool. As far as like the legs and stuff, uh, Raphael's even got thicker legs. Like why? You know what? I could stop the video here, but I'll keep going. I love this though, for a Raphael, I love this. This is totally him. The knee pads, same with Donatello. There's no stiffness, articulation. Ooh, I can even do like the wave thing with his leg. This is very cool. Like you can definitely put these turtles in a lot of positions. And see his head just popped right off, but it pops right back on. It's not loose, it's just easy to um, swap the heads, which I think is, is nice to have. So that's Raphael, how he comes straight off. And uh, let's look at one of our swappable faces. So here is the other face that comes with Raphael. Look at that face. Uh, this is also, I feel like this embodies Raphael. I, I like this head sculpt. It's like he's thinking about, do I want to whoop your ass right now? Is it worth it? That's the look that this is giving. And um, I'm a fan of this head sculpt. Now we have a, another head sculpt, which is very cool. And now look at this face. Now this face kind of reminds me of the heavy metal Raphael and the talking Raphael, right? Was it the talking Raphael? Uh, storage shell Raphael, right? He's yelling, he is angry, he is upset, and he is letting you know about what is about to go down. I love this look. This is a beautiful head sculpt all the way to the gums. Do you guys see that? You can see his gums in there. Is that his, his mouth is just open? His mouth is just open. So Jesus, look at this. The details on this all the way up to the frown and the eyebrows. I love this face. Um, 
I think I'm going to swap this face and put this face on Raphael. Raphael too comes with a second set of a bandana. So you start with the short one and then you can put in the long one just like Donatello. He also has the intercom thingies, which is very cool. Very, very nice. Now this is interesting. Raphael comes with two extra sets of hands. Why? Why not Donatello? Why does Raphael need so many hands? I'll tell you why. It's because he's always on that shit and he's doing too much with his hands. So Raphael has got like this three fingered look where he could be like pointing at a dude. Remember like say something my guy we can do this. What do you want to do? That one and then he's also kind of got his closed handed fist like he's 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 thinking about it right like he's thinking about it so he's clenching his hands um, what else do we have then we have his grip hands right so where you can put something like a weapon or in his size or something or a calm in his hand which is cool and then we've kind of got a different grip where instead of his hand is like this it's a little bit more closed so this is a uh, very extensive right very, very extensive. Now, same with Raphael. He's got these extra little pieces, I'm assuming for decoration to paint whatever scene you're trying to put together. And he comes with a shorter slice of pizza. So I don't know what that's about since Raphael is so thick. Shouldn't he have the longer piece uh, that Donatello had, right? Because um, obviously he's consuming uh, more calories than Donatello, but that is what it is. And then we've also got this uh, other little pointy Piece. So this is very interesting. I might not figure this out in this video, but um, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys put together. So let's move on to the next box. Okay, so now we've got Leonardo and Michelangelo. The packing on this without tape. I love this. All right, we'll move this plastic out of the way. All right, who to start with? Let's leave the loser for last. So let's go to Michelangelo. I love this Michelangelo. I love the color on Michelangelo. I love the greens, the light greens, the little bit shades of darker greens to give it uh, more depth. It looks great. Now, I'm, if I put Leonardo in my hands with Michelangelo, Looking at the front of their shells, it looks like Do Michelangelo has the same type of body sculpt that Donatello has. And uh, no, I think Leonardo has the same. So I think Raphael has his own sculpt to make him just look beefier, which, okay, uh, whatever. But anyways, back to Michelangelo, same thing, dude. Points of articulation is amazing. Elbows, ankles, knees, leg movement, wrists. Uh, he does it all. Now let's look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. I love this sculpt on Michelangelo. This is a hard look, like he is about that life, but also soft for the, the party dude Michelangelo that we know him to be. This probably isn't gonna be my favorite head sculpt, but I'm digging it. I'm totally digging it. And he's got his little singular belt around his waist, which I like, no straps. So we're staying true to that, to what we know with the straps. And on his belt, he really just has the little loops to hold his nunchucks in. He's not really holding a whole bunch of anything else. So maybe he's got he's got one little pouch on the side. So yeah, Michelangelo, he's not doing too much. And we know that, right? Because he, he he's so talented, he doesn't even have to train. And uh, he's good at what he does, which is why he's my second favorite Ninja Turtle. Looking at the front of his shell, gosh, the details and the design on here with the cracks and the, the cuts and all that kind of stuff and with the color, they did not mess with this. They did a really, really, really good job. Um, I didn't do this with the the others but even the back of his shell bro the back of his shell is also very well designed a mix of browns to give it more depth more color and really bring the shell out to life i love it i love this michelangelo so let's see what other head swaps he has okay here's the first face and ooh, i like this face i like this face a lot i like it now that's a silly happy michelangelo that is the the party dude look carefree guy his eyebrows or not his eyebrows but whatever he looks relaxed like he's not stressing over anything i love this head sculpt the next head sculpt we have oh now this one's a little different this one he looks like he messed up right he said something he pissed off Raphael or someone's about to dig off on him. Leatherhead is coming for him and he's just like, oh, <laughs> uh, that was not funny joke. And um, this is not my favorite head sculpt from Michelangelo, but I could totally see this would be really good in a picture. 
a posable uh, with your figures and trying to paint a scene with maybe the turtles are like scolding Michelangelo and he's just like, what bro? So I love that. And um, I don't know, I think I might stick with the same head swap, I mean the same head sculpt for the Michelangelo that he came with. I like that look. Okay, Michelangelo, same with the others. He's got the, the communicator thingies, the telecommunication as well, very neat. He also comes with a bandana, a longer bandana, which I like. I think I'm gonna swap those out. Now Michelangelo, so Donatello's the only one that's only got three sets of hands. So Michelangelo has four. Let's see, he's got the thumbs up, which we love the thumbs up Michelangelo. Angelo got the open hand right the open hand says he could be gripping something or he could be holding on to something I don't know we had the completely closed hand now this is definitely to put like a nunchuck or something in his hands and then we have kind of like an open <laughs> open hand so he's uh he's reaching for something or he's about to point at something I don't know but I like these different hands sculpts which make it really cool for however you decide to pose your Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo comes with a longer pizza slice which would make sense because my guy loves pizza. Now he also comes with this cool little um, <laughs> Walkman. Y'all remember the Walkmans right? He's got his headphones and he's got his Walkman. Very very cool. That is adorable. Good touch. And that really does it for Michelangelo. So let's move on to Leonardo. Okay, so Leonardo. All right, first off, Mezco has done a fantastic job, the colors on these Ninja Turtles, as far as the different shades of green. And I feel like Leonardo's green, uh, they hit him spot on. This is the, exactly the Leonardo, um, like the original. Uh, these colors mimic the 1987 Playmates Toys Turtles, right? So these are the colors that we started to really see them as and we're used to it and I love it they did a wonderful job with his belt we know Leonardo's got the strap over and the material that's made out of this stitching gosh is so intricate intricate and uh, it's beautiful it's so well done you probably don't want to mess around with it too much but this just looks really really good so let's go ahead and get to it let's look at his face all right look at that face Look at that Leonardo. Look at that Leonardo face, right? Leonardo looks like, you know, he's a bit sick of it. He's been trying to be respected as the leader and um, he's just not sure if he's if he's cut for it. <laughs> Probably should just ask Donatello to, to officially lead the squad, so. Yeah, that's Leonardo. That's a good head skull for Leonardo. It, look, it looks great. Let's see what other faces he has. <laughs> this one's even better. Look at this head swap. This head swap, oh, he's definitely sick of it. He's like, dude, I be telling y'all what to do and you don't listen. And that's because they don't respect you, Leonardo. It's because you, anyways. I love this head sculpt. I love this look on him. I think this totally embodies Leonardo. He's always constantly thinking, thinking about his brothers, thinking about the situation he's about to put him on, and thinking about how he's gonna ask Donatello for help. All right, and our next head swap, boom. Now this is Leo. Look at this face. Now he is officially yelling. He is angry, he is upset. Like what, why don't you guys respect me this is what he is saying he is pissed off right now this looks this is the face that i will be putting on my leonardo but i love this look i love how this totally captures his personality he's he's you know he's always stressed and that's because he loves his brothers very much and uh he puts a lot of pressure on himself he really does like they're a team leo dude like chill out you guys can work this out together uh you don't have to figure everything out because you're not anyways you're just gonna ask donatello so i love this head sculpt as well i love the the fact that Mezco gives us three different heads to put on like this is this is really really neat just like the others we've got our telecommunicators for Leonardo we've got our bandanas we've got he comes the short you can swap it out for the longer one which is really neat now Leonardo also has four hand swaps so let's see what he's got he's got the super wide open grip which is cool he can definitely hold something in his hand with that one we've got the super closed grip so this is where you're probably gonna put his katanas in there have him do some dope with that we've got this pointy kind of thing that I was saying with Michelangelo where he might you could probably put this in a pose like he's trying to tell somebody to do something or he's talking 
he also comes with a thumbs up. I don't know why. Or maybe he's thumbs up in Donatello. Thanks for helping us get out of this one again. I appreciate you. Yeah, so Leonardo's got a nice uh, swap of hands. Now he comes with the shorter, uh, smaller pizza. And he also comes with these little pieces, um, which I'm sure that you can use to paint whatever scene you want to when you pose your turtle. So this is very cool. So that is going to be the Ninja Turtles. Leonardo Don Donatello Raphael and Michelangelo. And before we go into their other pieces, why don't we take a quick look at each of them by themselves? So now we have our next set of accessories and oh boy, this is a lot. So uh, bear with me. <sighs> okay, where to start? Why don't we start with the easiest, which is the display stands. So each turtle gets a display stand, right? Michelangelo's, Leonardo's, Raphael's, and Donatello's. So I will definitely be using these since I like to display my turtles in the glass case. Uh, this is a nice touch, it really is. Okay, now down, what the hell is this? This looks like plastic baggies and it says 112. What is this for? So yeah, this is a plastic bag and there's four of them. So maybe this is for us to put our accessories in there if we're not um, displaying them and, and you know keeping the box. Okay, yeah, so I'm not seeing anything. So I'm thinking that is just a courtesy, uh, little baggies for you to put your stuff in, which is also a nice touch. Well done, Mesco. All right, so going on down. Let's keep it going. Oh. Are we back on the tape? No, no tape. Okay, so let's pop this top open. Hopefully my stuff won't go flying. Doesn't. All right. Now this who this looks like this could be a Raphael set. So we've got a hat, which is very cool. And also it looks like it's got a little nod, or whatever you want to call that, on the back, which makes it nice to help stick it in his head so it doesn't fall off. Nice. Whatever these things are, these baton looking things, we've got two of those, which is cool. We've got some ninja stars, which I always end up losing, which is very nice. Some type of hook looking thing over here. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. We've got our ninja stars in motion. So that's dope. Uh, this kind of knife thingy that's got a handle on it. I don't know, somebody will have to tell me uh, what the hell this is, but um, this is cool. And then we've got uh, Rolf Seaz. Uh, Raph, Raph, right? Raph, say I, say I. Okay. I've been saying say eyes. I'm sorry, you guys hate that. I've been calling say eyes since I was like a child because I didn't know how else to pronounce it. Nobody corrected me. His size. All right, so we've got two sides. Very cool. Underneath that, we've got a little jacket. Now whose jacket is this? It's probably Raph's. Uh, look how cute this little jacket is. Oh my gosh, this is an adorable little jacket. Yeah, so he's got his trench coat, he's got his hat, he's got his size. This is so cute. I love this. I've, I've how many times have I said this, dude? I love this. I do. This is so cute. Okay, now keep going to the right. Looks like we have came up on Michelangelo's territory. We have our twirling nunchucks. So our nunchucks that are definitely in motion. Uh, this is interesting how to display this, but I'm sure somebody already has. Very cool. Then we've also got this weird little funky little weapon that looks like back in the day. It's got the hook and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what that is, but I love it. It's a good touch. We've also got this hook thing that I saw over there. Try to get a better picture of that. I don't know what that's for. And we got this other little weapon that Michelangelo can hold in his hand. That's very cool. And now we've got our nunchucks over here. So, wow, look at that, right? Cool, cool. Oh, okay, so here is a nunchucks that I'm sure it's just the bottom so that we can stick our, yep, and now we've got our swirling nunchuck. Yes, okay, I am a fan, I, I am a fan. And then we have our actual nunchucks. Now look at these nunchucks, dude. They seem like I could totally snap this and break it, but it's really flexible. So this is, this is a nice touch. 
I love this. Okay, so underneath Michelangelo's weapons, we have another cute little jacket. Look at this jacket, Joe. The last time I saw clothing like this was like for my Barbies. This is so cute. Will my Michelangelo be wearing this? Absolutely. So adorable. I love this. This is real fabric, bro. This is this is so cute. And he's even got his little drawstrings on the front and put on his little hoodie. Okay, Mezco. Like, I see you guys. I'm sad that I didn't uh, know about you guys earlier, but if maybe if you don't have any other turtle stuff, that could be why, or I just didn't know. And then what's below this? Some type of black. Oh, this was the other cloak thingy that you can use to wrap it around Michelangelo, I'm assuming. So this is more of for the serious Michelangelo. This is a hooded cloak, and it's got this material in it uh, so that you can easily shape it and make it a uh, shape around your turtle. So Mezco, yes, what are they called? Collectors by collectors or something like this? Absolutely, so this is nice. This is a nice touch. I won't be using that. I'm gonna have my Michelangelo in his little hoodie with the, with the <laughs> with the strings, but this is very cool. Okay, so we'll put that away. Put his little clothes away. We'll keep going to the right. Now, who is this? Donatello. So, oh, wait a minute. Weren't there supposed to be some goggles? Oh wait, those are Donatello. <laughs> I went too far. No tape, but be gentle. Look at that bow, right? That's a dope ass bow staff. It looks great. It's simple. It's what we're used to. A dark bow with a dark wrap. I love it. And you can see the details on this thing really well. It's very detailed as far as the wrapping goes. So like they did not cheap around with this. Donatello's got these like night vision goggles. Now these are cool. This is a nice touch. I love this. Also so incredibly detailed. It's even got a piece inside there for like the actual lens, right? <laughs> it's perfect. They, they did a good job. Now we know this, this little uh, handy machine thing that Donatello uh, rebuilt and uh, been whooping ass with it, right? Our little battle axe Donatello. So this is, this is also very well detailed all the way down to the buttons on the side of this, to the ridges. I mean, it even, the paint color even makes it look like iron or, and metal piece together. So awesome, I can't say anything. I don't, I, I can't say anything else. So we've got these little throwing dagger thingies, which is nice. Very cool, dude. I'm gonna try not to lose this shit. This is dope. And then this little hook again. What the hell is this little hook for? Somebody tell me in the comments, what is this for? I'll probably figure it out after the video, but I don't know what that is right now. Donatello also has a little handheld spiky thing <laughs> and uh, the other little weird weapon. So yeah, this is an extensive amount of weapons and they look fantastic. So if we cover that up, now let's see what, uh, what type of clothing my little man gets to wear. I love this. Uh, and he's got this cute little cloak as well. Look at that, real material, so soft. And it's got the wire in there so that you can pose it. Yeah, he just goes over his little head and he's um he's ready to do whatever he, he was gonna do. This is so cute. And uh, yet adorable, but also not a toy. Cool. Okay, so we're moving on. We are almost there, y'all. Almost there. Like all the reviews that I've seen on this have been like 45 minutes to an hour because there's so much. But I love it, right? Like you have to say, you have to say that you think your money, if you pre-ordered one of these and you got one of these, this has got to be one of the top tier stuff that you've gotten value for your money, right? And uh, if you disagree, do put it in the comments. I love a good uh, disagreement. So this is, <sighs> we've finally gotten up to Leonardo. So Leonardo, he's got his sheaths. Uh, so it looks like we can insert this into his belt and then we can hold his little katana and that goes in there, easy peasy. Wow, perfect, perfect, perfect fit, very nice. So we've got two sheaths, two katanas put this up. Then we've kind of got these metal things that he can, knuckle things that he can hold on his hand and then like attack somebody with, little spiky things at the end. He's also got the little throwing daggers, which is uh, which is nice touch. And then we've got this damn hook thing again. I don't know what the hell this little tiny little hook thing is for. Just in case I don't figure it out, uh, put it in the comments. For those of you that are already well uh, into your set, put it in there. Okay, so as far as clothing goes, maybe it's for the clothing to keep the little thing tied up. I don't know. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we've got a red scarf, right, for Leonardo. And every time I think about this red scarf, I think about when he was a bitch and he got um, mind by Shredder, right? Uh, Kitsune or whatever. And he was basically working for the Foot Clan. He will never wear this in my set, never. Dark Leo, right? No, not a fan. Let's see, and then the next piece is, he also gets a, a cloak, 
right? And same thing, it's got the material inside so it's easy to pose it. Wow, well done. Okay, so what are you guys thinking so far? Dude, put it in the comments. Dude, I would love to hear it. Me, I'm very impressed. Some of y'all who have been shopping with Mezco for a while, you're not surprised, but I am, I am very surprised because uh, I mostly just shop with uh, NECA Super 7, stuff like that, and their stuff is great, but this is just so much more detailed. I've never, I've never, I've never, okay? Now up top, I wanna say that these are our stands, right? Let's see. And then um, it looks like we've got our stands to go with our display bottom so that you guys can, <laughs> you guys, like I'm not gonna do it, but um, properly display your turtles. So that is a lot, right? That was a lot. That, that was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with that, why don't we quickly recap and let's take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 112 scale by Mezco. So there you have it, Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Mezco 112 scale. I adore these so much. I think these were very well done. I think this is some of the best product that you can get for $400 when it comes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. I mean, look how, God, look how flexible Donatello is. He's beautiful. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these turtles. And uh, yeah, I'm Queen G22. No, you can't leave yet. We have to do our subscriber shout outs. So if you're new to my channel, I like to play a game with my viewers and it's called That's What She Said. And it is because I adore the show The Office so much that I incorporate Michael Scott's favorite saying, that's what she said in almost every single video. But there are times when I will make a comment and I will not call it out as a that's what she said. And if my viewers call it out and it's good enough, I'll give you a shout out on my next video. In order to be considered for a shout out, you have to do three things. You have to one, say what I said, two, timestamp it, and three, say that's what she said. Our first shout out goes to Jer Amazing Shots. Nice job once again. And this is what this person thought should have been a that's what she said. Okay, this is a face that says, I'm coming for that ass. Oh, <coughs> SOS, Loke DJL. That's what he says. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that was a good one. Nice job. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Our next shout out goes to, and I apologize if I don't say this right. Uh, I probably should, but um, I want to say Leah Cooper, Pokemon trainer. Or is it Lee Cooper or Leah? Either way, you know who you are, and this is what this person thought should have been. Uh, that's what she said. I, I'm not exactly sure how heavy she is, but I can tell you it is not for the weak. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. Serious. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Another really good one. Nice job. And I think that is your first. That's what she said. And nice job, everyone. I really appreciate everyone's participation. I'm Queen G22.